Hey Gadget Groupies, I got a pretty big one for you today. This is the Inori 22,400 milliamp hour portable power bank. It came shipped in a nondescript, uh, simple, subtle cardboard box. We can get rid of that now. And it came with its own little micro USB cable, which for once during uh, testing a battery, I didn't lose this cable. But this is the Inori. It's a brick, a big white brick of big power. Uh, we've got a little power button here on the side, which uh, when you hit that, it's going to light up these little LEDs. Right now, I'm currently at 75% charge. This battery capacity at 22,000 milliamp hour cells, which means if you were using this battery to charge one phone like the Galaxy Note 5 or the LG V10, you should be able to power that one phone for a week of regular use without ever having to find a power outlet. There's nothing on the sides or on the bottom of the battery, but the top of the battery is where all of the magic happens. We have a little micro USB port to charge this puppy, and this takes a long time to charge. I, I, I feel it's important to continue to reiterate that the bigger the battery capacity for these power bank solutions, the longer it's going to take to fill that capacity because we also don't really want to be messing with fast fast charge capabilities in devices like this. We want these things to run cool. We want them to last a really long time. We don't want to degrade the cells in there. Whenever you run a gadget hot, it's going to degrade the batteries built into them. This thing is so large, we have a trio of USB ports on tap. You can charge three devices at one time, but these things are staged. So we have a one amp output for USB port one, a 1.5 amp output for USB port two, and a 2.1 amp output for USB port three. At 2.1 amps out, this USB three port might not do a great job charging devices like iPads, which usually, I believe the iPad is usually built around a 2.4 amp output for its charger. So charging might be slow on some of those devices, but this is going to be the only port that might play ball with things like fast charging capabilities on our phones. Otherwise, these two are going to be much more normal speed charging solutions. And you might even want to save this first port for other types of electronics which don't depend on any kind of quick charge relationship. So like this is the port that I would use for my audio recording equipment, which I know doesn't have a quick charge built into it and probably doesn't need the higher amp output. Um, I can let it charge a little bit slower, run a little bit cooler. And I think this is been a really funny adaptation for portable batteries over the last couple of years where to add additional features and functionality, some, for some reason, we feel it's, it's really important to add a little LED flashlight to our batteries. And this isn't the kind of solution I would want to be walking around and holding it in a hand and swinging it around uh, to help light darkness. But if you need the extra illumination, there's a flashlight ready to go for you. This puppy is big and heavy. It probably won't fit in well with uh, most purses out there for you women that need to keep your gadgets charged on the go. And it probably won't even do a good job for those of you that are just taking around light backpacks, day bags, book bags, things like that. I really start looking at, solu at products like this as solutions for more professional power management out in the field for longer periods of time. Like I wanna keep this puppy in a camera bag. Just as a quick comparison, here is the Inori next to my 10,000 milliamp hour Easy ACC. You can see the Easy ACC actually has a pretty uh, tall and wide footprint, but it is much skinnier than the uh, than the Inori. And next to my RAV Power 16,000 milliamp hour battery. The RAV Power is about as thick, but you can see it's much shorter than the Inori also. Which when you think about size to capacity, the Inori is actually pretty impressive in that it's packing 40% more capacity in, I don't know, what's, what's that? Maybe a 25% increase to overall size, overall dimensions. Now, while this is gonna be, now while this is gonna be a great solution for keeping multiple devices charged out in the field, I would like to see more companies start to uh, utilize the charging capabilities on ultrabooks and larger tablets. This could be a great backup solution for our laptops, especially as a lot of laptops are coming out now with non-user replaceable batteries. And that brings us to price. The Inori 22,400 milliamp hour power bank is gonna run you around 35 bucks depending on where you shop it. I found it for as low as 32 on Amazon, which again, considering that a RAV power solution like a RAV power 16,000 milliamp hour battery is gonna be around that same price point, I think this is a very competitive solution if you need big power, so long as you're able to uh, handle the compromise of something this big and heavy.
I'll of course leave some links down below this video where you can find more info on the Inori giant power bank and where you can shop this puppy online. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more reviews like these. And I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't out there supporting it, either by shopping using all of the affiliate links down below each of my videos or by buying my book, Take Better Photos. Smartphone photography for noobs is now available on Amazon. And as always, uh, sharing my videos is greatly appreciated on your favorite social services like Reddit and Facebook and Twitter and Google+. And I can't thank you enough for bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.